A healthier Indiana matters to me, um, particularly because my family has been directly impacted by the opioid epidemic. Um, my little sister is like one of my favorite people in the whole world, and she, when she was 17, she started dating this really nice guy. Um, super smart, you know, clean cut from a good family, the whole, you know, good kid. And it was three years later, they'd been together for three and a half years, she was 20. He was gonna graduate from IU um, later that year, and they'd talked about getting married, like my sister had a date and everything. And he ended up dying as a result of fentanyl. Um, the worst thing I have ever seen is my 20 year old sister laying on her dead boyfriend's chest, sobbing in front of an entire congregation of people who came to celebrate this wonderful young man's life. And it's still, um, his mother has actually recently started talking to young people because it wasn't even that he was addicted, but he was still affected by the crisis because, you know, it just kind of like came around one time and he was like, oh, I'll try it this once. And that was enough. What I got the most out of was when Deanne Burwell was up there, uh, you know, talking about her son and his addiction to opioids, because I think a huge piece of what's going to help with the crisis is the destigmatization of of addiction because it is an illness versus, you know, oh, this is a bad person. Because there was something that she said that was, it's not that my son is a bad person trying to be good, it's that he's a sick person who wants to be well. And I think if more people understand that, it's, it's really gonna make an impact that we're gonna see, um, you know, for years. I think that it is critical that we look at the long term versus you know what is happening right now we really need to we need to invest in the future of Hoosier Health and I think it'll be better for everyone. Mm -hmm.